I've been waiting for this moment for literally months. Like I have had my organizational containers for two months now and I just cannot find the perfect time with just one thing after another happening. So this is what we're doing today. Okay, this is my laundry, guys. It is so bad. It's just a storage room at this point. Like there is cleaning supplies and vacuums and potties and the dog area here. I just moved this box here yesterday. There's bicycles, just a bunch of food. And then this is the actual laundry space, which it's plenty to do like, you know, put it in, switch it and whatever. And then I just fold it in the dining room. This is what it looks like from this angle. This stuff is just like what sheetrock from like when my husband poked a hole in this while I was gone when we evacuated. I'm just like, ugh, this needs to get done. And this is what it looks like from this angle. So lots of work to do here today. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have today to actually work on that because every day is just so busy. Like I have to cook, I'm still momming. I have to like keep up with the house and stuff. So my goal is to at least clean the place. So I wanna just empty out the entire thing and basically only leave what I want to stay there which is probably gonna be like the pantry shelf. I just wanna move it to this side. That way it's out of like the actual walkway and then get like the twins wagon out of there, their bicycles into the garage. Or maybe I'll leave them there cause it's so convenient to have them there when we're like out planning to go on a walk. They just grab them and go. And then like reorganize cleaning supplies, see what I actually need and what I use and what I don't. And then hopefully my husband has space in the garage to just like shove everything in there. Cause I know that it's very tight in there as well. And he was just reorganizing things in there so it could fit. So yeah. Yeah. Let's go start on that and at least try to get it organized and cleaned up. Also, shout out to my mirror. My husband pulled this out two nights ago when he was reorganizing the garage. And I, I did a little poll on my Instagram to see if you guys like it in the dining room more or maybe if I should move it to my master bedroom. And a majority said master bedroom, but it was, it was pretty equal. But I really like it here because I feel like it makes this space look so much bigger. It just feels like there's another like living room in there and just makes the whole space look a lot bigger. And I love that about our old house with that huge mirror it just made the whole place look double the size like we actually had people run into it thinking that it's another room because <laughs> it was like literally floor to ceiling but i think i'm gonna keep it here i really like it here okay i'm gonna start with probably just taking everything down off of the shelf off of the washers and dryers and just throwing it out into the dining room. That way I can reorganize and see what I actually need. Because a lot of it is just like laundry stuff and cleaning supplies. So I just need to get everything out. There's also like trash and like my husband's tools in here. <laughs> things. Anyway, it's a mess. So I'm gonna get all of this stuff out of the way and throw it there. And then I'm gonna wipe everything down, kind of clean it up and then kind of sort what I actually will keep in mind. Also, I am recording like a short and like real for my Instagram. So if you do see my camera and try pod somewhere in the clips that's what it's for so i have no idea why we need this many dryer sheets literally four packs wd-40 this one is still locked in the garage finishing up so I got these wiped down and the trash out from behind there I'm gonna need to probably vacuum there so I'm gonna try to see if I can reach a vacuum in there and get that cleaned out as well but I'm moving further inwards <laughs> towards the entrance so I'm gonna clean up some of this stuff and, and organize it honestly the plan is to just literally move everything out literally everything I'm probably just gonna leave like the food items and reorganize them here but everything else is going out and then I'll deal with it once it's inside the house like in 
the dining room. So that's what I'm doing. I honestly don't think I'll be doing a lot of talking unless I need to. So I'll probably just put some music on and get to cleaning. <laughs> Look how massive that is. I don't even know if that's gonna fit into my vacuum. Like, look at the tip of the vacuum and the cockroach. It's huge. And like a spider in there. Okay. okay, guys, I didn't realize that that disconnected. So, I don't even know how to reinstall that. So, I'm gonna give it a try real quick. And then, if I can't figure it out, then I'll just have my husband do it when he gets home because I didn't realize it was that short. Realign it. Okay, I think that's pretty close. Uh, I wonder if I can push the washer away somehow. Is it gonna unplug anywhere? No, I think the wires are way better. Longer, but it is washing right now, so this is gonna be very heavy. Okay, I got it. Ooh, I just hope there's no more cockroaches. Okay, I think 
I might need like something to unscrew that little metal piece first because it's too tight. Those are the husband's tools that he left here. All right guys, this is what it's looking like. Fully empty basically, cleaned, vacuumed. Ignore that part. This is it, nice and spacious, plenty of room to put stuff. Gotta figure out how though. And this is what we're working with inside of the house now. I literally barely got out of there. Gotta start organizing all of this stuff now. I just don't know how. I might start, probably start with this box here and then I don't even know what to do with all those extra blankets. Probably just gonna put a pile of donations here and then just kind of work my way inwards. I cleared out the pathway here so you can at least walk in through there. Still have a lot to go through on this side, but basically this wagon and the potties are probably gonna go in the garage. We'll decide what to do with them later. The broom, I don't need it, have vacuums. And then those blankets are for donation. And then this is all just recycle, like literally just boxes, empty boxes. including steamers and iron and then laundry pods, leash, and then garage stuff here. And then I have, literally, this is all the cleaning supplies I have. This is it. Like, I don't use a lot. I'm literally very minimalist. Most of the time, I just use vinegar and water. Hence the big jug of vinegar that's almost empty. I wish I had, actually, I do have a container for vinegar which I'm gonna pour later. I'm gonna do a whole organizational like video a little bit later where I will put certain things in like clear, more aesthetic containers where it looks a little better because there's no cabinets in there. So everything is just out and it just looks like a big mess and just looks very cluttered. So if I put them in, you know, more clear aesthetic containers, I feel like it'll keep everything looking a lot cleaner and better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go put all the laundry stuff up there along with the cleaning stuff and then put the garage stuff right there I'm just going to pull out. And I'm going to come to this side. I actually looked through that black box that I completely just moved aside earlier. And I have another one in the bathroom that's been there for like three weeks. And I found some more cleaning supplies. So I have another box of cleaning supplies here. And then a bunch of cleaning solutions for the upholstery cleaner, which I'm going to put separately. And then I also found a few more things for like laundry, like the fabric refresher and then the devil's like stain remover. So I found a few more things. That way I don't have to look through that later. Those two boxes. I already got the cleaning supplies up there, so I'm putting some of the laundry stuff. I don't know exactly how much things will actually fit here. Because I was already going to laundromat. 
to dry, it was just not working very well. So he bought that and just plugged it in for the time being, hoping to maybe fix this one, but that still hasn't happened and I don't think it ever will because when you have something that's working, there's no pressure to fix something that's not working, you know? So I don't even know at this point what we're gonna do. I think after we remodel the entire house and like rebuild an entire laundry here and everything, I don't know if I want these washers and dryers. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but it's just here for now. more other things going on over there that I still need to bring in but I want to move this guy to that wall and then maybe like hide things kind of behind it in that corner just to see what that looks like I don't know we're just playing around here I literally don't even know like exactly how this is gonna look I'm just like testing trial and error kind of thing so see if I can move it with all the stuff on here <laughs> yeah I don't think so <laughs> okay um I'll have to empty it out because it's, it's too heavy for me <laughs> Like 
love. This is my house now. The kids took everything out and are playing with it. Uh, that's mostly trash. And then this is everything that I have left here, which is also kind of like trash. And then just like garage stuff that my husband needs to take. So I'm gonna clean all of this now. I'm gonna end the vlog here too. That way you guys are not watching me clean some more. Next time I will see you, I want to vlog and film for you guys how I organize everything. I got a bunch of storage containers off of Amazon like two months ago. Get in this room. This room needs to be next on my list. Like, look at this. It is such a mess, but where are they? Oh, I got like storage containers, like cute ones to put all of like the laundry pods and the um, dryer sheets and everything in. Got like these acrylic containers for like liquid. So anyway, I'm gonna be doing that organizational video next, most likely. So I'm gonna film it for you guys. So if you wanna see what that's all gonna look like, end result, definitely check in maybe in a week or so. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a long time coming. I can't even believe I'm finally doing it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I still have to put the dog bed in and everything, but this is a final walkthrough of what we kind of got done today. So definitely clean and open here, but we got basically all of our stuff on the top shelf. And then this is all empty space. I'm gonna put the dog bed here and then our pantry and just like random vacuum stuff. So definitely a lot cleaner than what it used to be. Huh? Okay. Okay.